Hi, my name is Martina and today I'd like to pose a question, what is risk? First, let's have some fun and see what Google says. Risk is a possibility that something unpleasant or unwelcome will happen. Risk is someone or something that is likely to be a danger or problem in the future. Risk is a probability or threat of damage, injury, liability, loss or any other negative occurrences caused by external or internal vulnerabilities and that may be avoided through preemptive action. Well, to all of that I say yes, but no. You see, for me, these definitions are answering the question, what is a risk, not what is risk? I'm trying to understand what risk is from a holistic perspective. Now, you might think I'm being a bit pedantic here, but how about I use this example to better explain what I mean. Risk versus a risk is a little bit like art versus a piece of art. So what's art? Art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. But a piece of art is a one-off. It's an example of someone's expression through the creation of a unique piece of work, such as The Thinker, a sculpture by Rodin, or The Trubian Man, Leonardo da Vinci's depiction of the human form and the beauty of its relative proportions, or The Persistence of Memory, as painted through the eyes of the surrealist artist Salvador Dali. Each of these is a unique piece of art, and because you know the holistic meaning of art, you can identify each of these works as a specific example of art. You can actually start to analyse each work to understand what it is that the artist is trying to express, and furthermore, you can start to explore what it means to you. So back to my question, what is risk? I'll answer it simply by using the definition provided by the International Standard for Risk Management. Risk is the effect of uncertainty on objectives. Well, that's certainly a succinct answer, but what does that mean? For me, there are two key words here, objective and uncertainty. An objective is something specifically sought after, a bit like a goal. J.F. Kennedy set one of the most challenging objectives for mankind in modern times. Back in 1961, he announced to Congress the objective of sending an American safely to the moon before the end of the decade. But how about something a bit closer to home? Think about projects. We typically set objectives early on and we define target budgets and schedules. Uncertainty. Uncertainty is about things that are not known or fully understood. We've all heard the saying that there are only two things certain in life, death and taxes. Therefore, by definition, everything else is uncertain. Okay, okay, I'm trying to be a bit too funny, but I think you know what I mean. How certain are you that tomorrow will be a sunny day? What about the day after and the day after that? How certain are you that your project will meet budget, that it will meet schedule? I think we're getting a bit closer to understanding what is meant by risk is the effect of uncertainty on objectives. But now I want to link the two together, objectives and uncertainty. Imagine this is you here on the left. And let's pretend that your objective is to get a bullseye on the target way over here on the right. So we could visualise uncertainty as everything that lies between you and your objective. Maybe the uncertainty you face is adverse weather conditions. How would heavy rain affect your accuracy? Maybe the uncertainty is more of a personal constraint. Maybe your eyesight isn't 2020 anymore. How clearly can you see that target over there anyway? Maybe the uncertainty you face is a group of community protesters who oppose the shooting of innocent target signs. So what does all that mean? Remember all those definitions I provided earlier? Risk is not about bad things that can happen. Risk is not negative or something to be avoided. Risk is actually about having a clear understanding of what your objectives are. Understanding where the uncertainty lies and understanding the effect that the uncertainty can have on your ability to achieve the objectives you've actually set. Not until you can clearly define your vision can you go the next step, which is to identify each individual risk that may impact on your objectives. But that is another video. Now let me leave you with a parting gift. If risk is the effect of uncertainty on objectives, take a couple of minutes to think of your objectives. It can be work, it can be personal, it doesn't matter. And then think of where the uncertainty lies between you and your objectives and the impact that that uncertainty has on your ability to achieve your vision.